Hi, wonderful Seattle Public School students. This is day two of learning and talking about numbers with decimals. So I'm so happy and amazed how you are watching and learning again and really, really showing that you care about your goals in education. So just a reminder, my name is Miss Palapel. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Dunlap Elementary School. And here to help me out today and help you out is Ajane. Say hi, Ajane. Hello, my name is Ajane, and I'm from Dunlap. You probably know me if you're watching. That was her special intro. So if you don't know her, it's okay. All right, you're so today. I before we start, I want you to know what you are really tr trying to achieve. Okay. So the last video you were understanding and writing decimal place values. So let's go ahead and reread re our last goal. Okay, and Anjane helped me out. So at home, that means when she is reading along with me, please read along with me too. All right, so let's go. The goal for the, ver the, for the first lesson was I will, I will understand, understand and, and write, write decimal, decimal place, place values. values. Now that we became familiar with place values and numbers with decimals, we're going to move on and do something else. So our goal for this video today is, so I'm gonna read it, and then we're gonna reread re together, all right? So goal, I will compare numbers with, with decimals. decimals. Okay, now Ajne and everyone at home, go ahead and reread along with me. Goal, I, I will, will compare, compare numbers with, with decimals. decimals. Okay, so, but before we do numbers with decimals, I really want to practice ordering number, whole numbers. So numbers without decimals, whole numbers. So we are going to play a game called Fill the Stairs. And you can play it with two or more people. So play it with your brother, sister, mom, dad, grandma, whoever you live with at home, okay? So just like the other video, I am going to use cards instead of dice because some people don't have dice. We don't have dice at home, so we make cards. So the, the blue pile with all the blue numbers will be the tens. It'll represent the tens place value, okay? And then the pink cards will represent the ones place value, all right? So for example, let's say if I picked a card, Actually, let's start right now. How about this? So it looks like this, fill the stairs, and you have zero all the way in the bottom, okay? Because zero is the least number. And you can fill it all, and on top, you can write down the, the high, highest number you want. So, but we are going to write 100. So Ajane, can you just follow along with me? So on top, you're gonna write 100. So 100 is greater than zero, and zero is less than 100, which is why 100's on top and zero's on the bottom, okay? And if you, um, in the packets that the district has passed out at the lunch sites, those packets actually have uh, templates, that means blank copies of fill the stairs, but if you run out or you don't have one, you can just make stairs, okay? So. We, so play this game, all you have to do is pick a card. So I'm gonna start, so I'm gonna, so it looks like I picked number four. So four will be my tens, okay? And then I, looks like I have 42. Oh, so tens, say it with me, tens, tens ones. ones, so 42, correct? And the goal is to fill the stairs before the other person fills the stairs. So I'm going to put 42 on my paper. I think I'm gonna put 42 in the middle. Whoops, my little pencil broke. Okay, 42 in the middle. So that means when I randomly, when it's my turn, I have to place my number if it's lower than 42, where do you think I should put it? Ajane? 
Closer to the zero. Yes, so in between the zero and the 42. But if it's higher than 42, where should I put it? Uh, closer to the 100. Yes, and if I have a number where I can't place it anywhere on my stairs, I have to write it down right here under the stairs, and then I lose a turn. So the goal is whoever fills up their stairs first, then they are the winner. But remember, this game is served for fun, okay? Friendly competition. So we are going to start. I already started, so it's, now it's her turn. So Ajane, go ahead. So that's the tens, and that is the, face it that way. So flip it. So she has three tens. And how many ones do you have? Five ones. So you have 30. 35. Okay, so go ahead and place. So she's going to be very strategic about it. Where? Go ahead and place 35 on your stairs. All right, so let's shuffle it again. And also, if you have dice at home, you can just do it with two dices. And then it's my turn. I have, looks like, two tens and nine ones. So 29. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, can I borrow your pen? So thank you. Sharing is caring. OK, go ahead. Ajne, your turn. We'll just mix it up. Go ahead. So you say it out loud. Everyone help her out. Say it out loud. Six, six tens. Tens. Six tens and? Four what? Four, four ones. ones. Sixty-four. OK, go ahead, place it. And then my turn. So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And I have, say it with me, everyone. Three, three tens, tens and, and eight, eight ones. One. So 38, I'm going to place it right. Then 38. OK, your turn. Oh, sorry. And shuffle, shuffle. Three tens. Eight with her. And eight ones. And so you got 38 too. So go ahead and place it on your stairs. Okay, we're gonna do two more to kind of show you more how to play, and then we're gonna go on. Okay, go ahead, Ajani. Is it my turn? Oh, whoops, my bad. Ah, uh, okay. So I have zero tens and seven <laughs> ones. So what's the number? Seven. Seven. So I'm going to put it right here. OK, go ahead. Your turn. She's really trying to beat me. Say it. <laughs> seven tens. Seven tens and? Zero ones. OK, so what number is that? Seventy. Thank you. All right. One more time for each of us, and then hopefully you get the concept by now, and then we'll just kind of recap. So really quickly, I have, say it with me, one, one tens, tens and Five ones, thank you, which is 15. 15. So, just in case, people at home, if I get any numbers below 42, because all my stairs are fill up, I have nowhere to place them. So then I would write that number underneath the stairs, and I lose my turn, okay? So that is this, so this is a, this is how we fill up our stairs. Okay, one more time for the people at home, and then we'll finish the game later. Say it with me. Forty, four, four tens, tens, and eight ones. What number? Forty-eight. Eight. Okay, so she has space still. Okay, so. We're to wrap this up. We are going to finish the game later, but I hope you try it out and have fun with it. All right. And then we'll tell you who won next video. <laughs>
All right, so now that we learned how to play our game, we're gonna move on to, move on to what we did yesterday, or the last video, okay? So, to recap, we wrote our um, place values for millions all the way to the decimal side on the place value chart. So everyone, Coral, read with me the place values. Ready, go. Millions, hundred thousand, thousand, ten thousand, hundred, tens, one, decimal, tens, hundreds, thousands. All right. So now what we're going to do, because our goal is to order these numbers, just like we were ordering the numbers um, in fill in the stairs, they were whole numbers, and now we're gonna do decimals. Remember when we, yesterday or the last video, we played the card game where we picked the numbers, random numbers, and place it on the place value. Um, place value chart. So we are going to do that again. We're just going to pick three numbers, or actually four. Let's do four. Four numbers, and then compare it by using a number line and greater than and less than sign. All right, Ajne, so you're going to help me out, and you are going to create numbers for me. Okay, so this will be the whole number again, and this will be the Decimal. Decimal. Yeah. So this is the blue will be whole number and the pink will be decimal. So go ahead and start so we know that we understand. Whole okay. number. We're just going to do ones. Decimal. Thank you. And then one more. We're just going to go up to tenths. Okay. Okay. She just wants to do it like that. That works too. All right. So what... Where does the eight digit go on our place value chart? In the ones place. In the ones place, okay. And where does our two digit go in the place value chart? And everyone, answer. In the tenths place. In the tenths place. So we have, we have to place our decimal. So read it with me. We have eight and two tenths. Every, read it again. Eight, eight and, and two, two tenths. tenths. Okay, let's do another number, random number. Just get one. No, you don't have to put it back in the pile. Just get more. Say it. Nine ones. Nine ones. Decimal. And five tenths. Five tenths. All right. Not, where does the nine go? Uh, in the ones place. Ones place. Where does the five go? In the tenths place. And I hope you're answering me at home as well. Let's give them think time at home to Ajane, just in case. Sometimes I need extra think time, like right now. There we go. Okay, go ahead. Another number. We have one hole. One hole. Point and and. Zero. Zero. Okay, so what's the one? Where's the one go? In, Everyone. In the ones place. Ones place. And then we have. Zero place. And the tens zero, place. Zero goes in the tenths place. I'm so glad she picked this number because this zero has no value. There's nothing. No value. So really, it just means one, one hole. holes. One holes. Okay? So let's read it again. One, one hole. hole. Thank you. One more number. Three holes and four tenths. Three holes and four tenths. Where do I put my four digit four it's a three in the in the one place oh ah, <laughs> i tricked you did i trick you at home i tricked her okay where do i place the digit four everyone in the tenth place in the tenth place and where do i put the digit three in the ones place in the ones place okay let's put my decimal okay so let's read the number everyone Three and four tenths. Three and four tenths. Now, because we're comparing numbers just like the fill the stairs, except they're with decimals, you are now going to help me draw. Actually, let me stand right here. 
you are going to help me draw a number line to represent least to greatest. Greatest. There we go. All right. So let me draw this number line. You're, and also at home, draw it with me. You have your pencil, paper. Okay. So I have, and then we'll put my arrow on the left side because this can go on and on forever. And then I put my arrow on the right side, which can go on and on forever. All right. So now we have to place our numbers that we got from the game on the number line. So looking at my holes, everyone look at my holes. What should my increments be? How should I divide my number line? Should I count by tens? Should I count by ones? What do you think? I think you, can, you should count by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40? Yeah. To represent eight? Oh, not to Nine, represent. I'm at eight and two tenths, nine and five tenths. What do you guys think at home? Should we go counting by tens or would you go counting by ones? Hmm. Ones. Why? Think about why. Why, why, why? So it looks like I have all my numbers in the ones place. So I'm going to stick with ones. Do you agree? Did you change your thinking? Why? Ones. Here, watch this. Let's see if this will help. And some people at home probably disagree with me too. I'm going to do my increments by ones. So count with me. Zero, Zero one, one, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then can it go on forever? Yes. Yes. Because after ten, it goes 11, 12, 13, 14, nine. and on and on. All right. So now can we place eight and two tenths on our number line? Yes. So do we change our thinking for people at home? Should it, does counting by ones make more sense? Yes. Why? Because if you count by tens, it will take a long time. But can we represent our digits in the ones place? Think about that. But while you think about that, I'm, we are going to continue placing, all right? So, Ajane and everyone at home, where on our number line, where should we represent eight and two tenths? I'm gonna have Ajane come up here. And you're gonna watch and see if she's right. Okay, Ajane, go around. And then I'll write it in. Okay. So, stand right here. Ajane, where should we place eight and two tenths? Here, why don't you place it? Can I just put it up there? There's no space. Okay, so she, I'll write it for you. So she put it between the eight and the nine. And why did you put it closer to the eight? I put it closer Here. to the Tell, tell everyone at home, why did you put it closer to the eight? I put it closer to the eight because when you, because if it says eight tenths, why would you put it closer to the nine when it's an eight hole? All right, thank you. And also at home, answer that question as well. Why do you think she put eight and two tenths closer to the eight than the nine? So I'm going to place it eight and two tenths. And then Ajane and people at home, where should I put nine and five tenths? In between what? In between the nine and the ten. In between the nine and the ten. If you agree at home, but tell, closer. tell us why. So should I put nine and five tenths? Since it's a five, can I put it in the middle? No. It's halfway in between. Oh, no, yeah. in the between nine and ten? Yeah. Okay, so we put nine and five tenths. All right, and then how about this number? What is this number again? One hole. One hole. Where do we put one hole? On the everyone? one. On exactly right here on the one. So we have one hole right there, or we can write it 
one and nothing, no value, but it's one whole. And then we have, last one? Three and four tenths. Three and four tenths, and where do I place it? In between what? In between the three and the four. Like maybe around right here, so yeah. three and four tenths. And I hope you beat us, because we're going slow here, but I hope you beat us at home trying to place it on the number line. But if you didn't, and you've been following along with me, perfect. Okay, because you can play this game yourself at home, by yourself at home. All right, and then, so now we ordered it. I'm going to ask you, which number is the least on the number line that we represented on the number line? Ajane? I think the least number is three and four tenths. So she said the least number is three and four tenths. Do you agree or disagree at home and why? I, oh. I'm going to disagree because we forgot about our one holes. Is it one less than three and four oh! tenths? I thought that we were, <laughs> no, that, that was, that's okay. That's okay. We make mistakes and we fix it. That's what mathematicians do. Okay, so let's me write. But then what's the next? So what's greater than one? What's but the next least number in the whole set of numbers? What do you guys think? What's next? Three and four tenths. Three and four tenths. And then the next number? Eight and two tenths. Eight and two tenths. And the next greatest number? Nine and Five tenths. All right, we met the greatest number is nine and five tenths. All right, now we listed our numbers. We need to put something in between them. Have you, I know you've seen this before, or maybe you haven't, that's okay. What is at home, at home, what does, actually, let me do this way. What does this represent? What symbol? does this represent? Think. And what symbol does this represent? Kind of. Ajane, would you like to share your thoughts? What symbols does this represent? You they represent the same thing, but just different. For example, for example, three and four tenths, like which one is greater and which one is lesser, less. Okay, and if you, if a please answer at home, so she's on the right track. So this symbol means greater. less than, oh. Oop. less than, Sorry for my sloppy writing today. Less than, and this is greater than. Greater than, okay? And then let's place it. So say it with me. One, One is less, less than, than three, three and four tenths. Four say it with me. One, One is less, less than, than three, three and, and four, four tenths. Three and four tenths is less than uh, eight and two tenths. And eight and two tenths is less than nine and five tenths. And I should have made it in blue so you could see. I actually want to change it. I want you to see the symbols, the less than symbol. Okay. Okay, let's read it one more time really fast. One, one is less, less than, than three, three and four tenths. Eight, three and three four, four tenths is less, less than, than eight, eight and two tenths. tenths. Eight, eight and two eight tenths, tenths is less, less than, than nine, nine and five tenths. tenths. And if you notice on the number line, the one is on the left side of the three. And then the three and four tenths is on the left side of the Eight. eight and two tenths, mm -hmm. so that so it's pointing to the left. That's why it, it's less than, okay? And at home, you can continue to practice by using our number game, 
uh, card game and then placing it on the place value chart and making your own number line to order the decimal. So thank you so much for joining, joining us. I hope you learned a lot. And if you're just still struggling, that's okay. You can practice at home and I hope you come back and watch next time. Thank you.